speaker is James McCoy. The city of Chicago is a billion dollars in debt. And all of this was very preventable when the illegal migrants started coming out of the, uh, 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 over here. We said, and this was during the Lightfoot administration, that this was going to destroy the city. We've been coming here. We've been keeping track. We've been watching the millions of dollars that's been maldistributed to illegal immigrants who are not vetted. Nobody knows who they are. Nobody knows where they came from. Nobody knows their background. They're coming over here. They're committing crimes. And we're allowing the taxpayers have been coming over here complaining. The Democratic Party claims to be, they claim to be the party of democracy, yet the taxpayers, the citizens, the legal citizens have been coming over here and telling the government they need to stop this, that they're allowing people to come over here and terrorize the city. And yet they've been paying millions of dollars to them and telling us that they don't have any resources for us. We've been suffering. The rent has been going up. They've closed down schools for our community, our children, our citizens, yet they reopened them to make them into shelters. They've been turning everything left and right into shelters for them. They've been using hotels for shelters. They've been using police stations for shelters. They've been using warehouses and abandoned schools for shelters. Before you leave. And they're sitting up here telling us that now they're going to have a hiring freeze. Now, the citizens have to pay again. The citizens are going to have to pay again for the maldistribution of our resources to illegal immigrants. While you sit up there trying to blame Greg Abbott for sending the buses up here, the person who's in fault of this, the main person who's in fault of all of this is Joe Biden. Joe Biden is the main person who's in fault of all of this. And the second person is Kamala Harris. She was supposed to be the border czar and she allowed all of this to come over here. Now she's just through some big party, the DNC, while she's sitting up there talking about vibes and being in a good mood as Chicago is being terrorized under her watch, under Joe Biden's watch. And the Democratic Party is shutting us up, trying to silence us as we're paying for all of this. We have to suffer for all of this. This is a billion dollars. Now, the winter hasn't even come yet. We don't even know what's going to happen then. You guys don't know what's coming over. You're still allowing them to come over here. Don't think you're going to be able to lie like we're not keeping track. We're keeping track of every single dollar that you guys are spending, every single lie that you guys are telling, and all of this is going everywhere. Chicago is the main person leading this, but New York, California, D.C., everybody is watching Chicago, and this is going to be the end of the Democratic Party because this is Joe Biden's fault and Kamala Harris's fault. Thank you. Um, 